filming like a little makeup declutter and I thought I would take you along. I'm going to have me on the side and then the drawer in like the, the main frame so you can kind of see me talking to you and then also clean it out as I go. Two reasons why I'm doing this. One, it's getting a little cluttered in here and I'm back on PR lists now so I'm just going to be getting more and more makeup so I need to make sure that what I do have in here is stuff that I actually use. Two, I'm trying to fake tan less so right now basically 95% of this is set up for fake tan like all my foundations, bronzers, stuff that I'm not really going to be using much anymore and because it's kind of newer makeup Makeup, I'm not going to be throwing it out. Should I take a seat for this? <laughs> and then angle the camera up so I can see what I'm looking at. The problem with these big shirts is that... <laughs> anyway, I've got a little bag here that I'm going to put stuff into. I've got to be ruthless because otherwise... Oh, I'm just never going to get rid of anything. Okay. <sighs> Powders. What shade is that? That is Y4. Let me see. God, if I have to do this with every product, this is going to take a while. I apply some on my forehead because I haven't got any... Oh, no. Uh, so these are two Natasha Denona powders. It's that I know they're expensive and it's hard for me to get rid of things that I know are expensive. I might actually keep this. Don't judge me because... I don't have any light powders and this one is like very new. That is a product sample. Okay, these are two of the same powders. One is butter and one is lavender. I think I'd be lavender. I always use butter, but that's my tan shade. Yeah. Oh, it's so hard for me to part ways with this because I always use it. This color is fine too. <laughs> no, because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be tough on myself. I'm going to retire the butter. I'm going to keep the lavender <laughs> because I've got these hourglass veils <laughs> too. And these are actually my favorite powders for setting my face. But regardless of that, I'm not using any powders to set like loose powders anymore. I'm using the Kosas one. I was using that underneath my eyes only, but now that I am fair on my whole face, it's not just an under eye setting powder, it's like a whole face powder. <sighs> Fresh and flawless Australis powder. That can go in the bin actually. I need a bin pile. Where's the bin pile gonna be? <laughs> I really wanna read this book. I bought it recently, but God, I can't bring myself to read a book. Why did I buy the physical book? Why didn't I buy the audiobook? I never sit down and read. I've got another book that I want to read as well that I bought, but I'm not going to do that either. What shade's this? Porcelain. It looks a bit pinky to me. Nah, I'm going to leave that. Charlotte Tilbury. I was never even that fussed about it this to, to begin with, I don't think. And I mean, just despite hitting pan. So it's probably time to retire that one for good. One size, I'll keep that. My powder section. Okay, so we've narrowed that down to that. I need to move these around in such a way that I can get the ones that I actually use more easily. Oh, I got these for a sponsored video. The shade that I use is 00. So I'm gonna keep those two. That would be like a tan shade but I don't normally spot conceal with concealer. So, and then I've also got that one as well. And that's a contour shade, so I might pass those. These are the Tribe Loose Powders. Now apparently they've actually stopped making these. I'll give them in, put them in the donate pile because they're probably not very heavily used, but that's a shame. These are really good powders. Maybelline Super Say Skin Tint, that can go. I can't remember what it's like, which means that I don't, wasn't memorable. That was way too dewy. These are the Morphe Skin Tints, as you can see by how much they've separated. I'm not going to miss those. Fenty eavesdrop. I don't even know what that one is. It's separated. Okay, that's a good test. If it's separated, it's I'm not going to use it. Okay, the Rare Beauty Foundations. No, I didn't reach them enough. Ah, yes. <laughs> that's my fair skin. A tan shade, so that's a no. This is still sealed and separated. So I think I bought my fair skin shade and my tan shade and... I only tried the tan shade and didn't like it, so I haven't even tried the fair skin shade, so that can rest in peace. Cover effects, custom cover drops. Uh, what's this one like? I might just leave it because it's such a small bottle. The color actually looks quite nice. I probably haven't used it much because I don't often have a, I don't often not have a tan. So I'm gonna try this again. Laurel too much, that can go. I tried it a few times, couldn't get it to work. In the way that I remember, 
I did like this, but it's not in the right shade. Revlon Colorstay, wrong shade. True Match Nude Plumping Serum. I might actually keep that because I did like that. This is way too dark. Yeah, Cheesecake was the right shade. Oh, my posture. So I'm not gonna use this. Damn, should have returned it. <sighs> Maybelline Fit Me, I do like that. Oh, what a waste. 180, that is my fair skin shade. I didn't really like this one as much. You know what I'm gonna do? Is I'm going to move the tan foundations into a different section. 21W Natural Ivory, that was a tan shade. 118, I think that was, that's that's still a fake tan shade, I think. Just a fading fake tan shade. So this is what we've got so far for light foundations. And this is that really light one, I think. Yep. Yeah really light. Um, moisturizer, I do use that. These are discontinued, so I'll get rid of those. I don't even use setting spray. Are these discontinued? Yeah, I think these have been discontinued. These were really good. I loved the light colored one. No longer at Mecca. Yep. Yeah. All right, primer is a hydrating primer and mattifying primer. I do actually use both of those. Illuminate glow primer, I'm not gonna use that. Anti-redness primer. Honestly, you think I would love that. I let my foundation do that for me. Ole, I actually think I'm gonna take my music up because it's distracting me. What's this, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I've never been into that. Hourglass Vanish Airbrush Primer. I know everyone raves about that, but I have never, I just, I'm not a primer girl. Ooh, okay, I got doubles of that. What's this, Equilibrium Instant Plumping Eye Mask. It just feels like a crime to not keep hourglass stuff. That's hoarder mentality. And if I don't use it, get rid of it, girl. Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur. Why am I even keeping this setting spray? I don't use setting spray. But is it good to have, question mark? Okay. So these are two basically really similar products, which is why I'm, I'm just gonna do a tiny swatch of each. Which is why I'm trying to figure out, because the Easy Blur one is, you know, Huda, it's a trendy brand. Probably got more like, innovative ingredients in it, but then the Smashbox, whoa, is the kind of like the OG. And even just putting the applying those, that Smashbox one really smooths and blurs. Considering the Huda one is called Easy Blur, that didn't actually blur anything compared to the. I don't know if you can see. Compared to the. Probably can't see. Okay, if I want a smoothing primer, I think I'm actually gonna reach for the Smashbox one. Interesting. I do like keeping that Olay moisturizing lotion there for when I've like hated my makeup and I wanna take it off. <laughs> and then I need to re-moisturize my face. What's this, Tarte? Wow, that's pretty. But it takes up a lot of space and I'm not gonna use it, so. Okay, the Hourglass one, let's be realistic, it needs to go. <sighs> This section here is gonna be complicated because I didn't used to use cream. So I've been like collecting them all, but not really going through them. So I need to get on top of that. Those are more samples. Fenty, I did actually like that, but I don't fake tan that dark anymore. Is that a highlight? It looks very pink, baked blush. I'm thinking for lounge face, but I, I feel like most people don't wear powders anymore. And the older I get, Excuse me, the less I'm gonna wear powders, I think. What's this? Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Perfector. I never understood this product. Don't understand how you meant to use it, but I'm just intrigued. Maybe I made it need to make a little pile of things that I need to try. But I do wanna try that. I've heard good things about it. Are these both the same shade? Nude Bronze Light and Diffused Bronze Light. Which one? Oh, that's confusing. How do I use that? Oh, I know, I just made it ugly. Oh, that's a crime. Why did I do that? I just, oh, I haven't used it. Used bronze light. I haven't used it and I don't like bronzing. It's going to the pile. I don't like bronzing when I have fair skin. I just rather it be white, you know? <laughs> Seems to look better. This is a Kosas bronzer I bought. I remember this were being really subtle, which is probably a good thing now. Okay, I'm gonna keep these three and that's it. Okay, I can get rid of that. More samples. Now, hourglass blushes are probably the only thing that I won't cull. 
And this is a color, like that color I don't use, Incandescent Electra. But maybe I need to try it with my fair skin and give it a chance. Because I, maybe, yeah, I need to try a lot of these. Oh, that's a no. What is that? Brilliant Nude. Yeah, that hasn't seen much use, certainly. So I'm going. Some of these products I need to try on my fair skin. I haven't used them before, so that's quite a nice subtle blush. I actually got this blush from Merit Beauty. Hadn't heard of it before. I'll take the cap off so you can actually see, but stunning. It's a little cream blush. I first of all love how small it is. It's probably still expensive, but I love how it. Oh no, it came in a three pack. But I love the size of it. I wish it all makeup was that small. Especially with color products, because like, I don't use them enough and I don't want to have all these products like stacking through my cupboard. I'm going to keep this and I want to try it on my fair skin and then I'll decide because I can't remember. It's been so long since I've used that. I probably will end up getting rid of it because I don't feel any... You know what? I'm going to get rid of it because I've got a whole heap of new Makeup by Mario cream blushes that are absolutely stunning. That will take its place that I know I will wear because I have been reaching for them. What's this? This is new. I'm not going to use that. I'm going in a really weird direction. I haven't even done my concealers yet. I'll do that next. I've already started on these. So these are from Tarte. These are all creams. Well, that looks way too shimmery for my liking. Another one. Nice colour. Is that a bronzer or a silk stick? I don't know what that means. Fenty, ooh, love that color. That actually looks really similar. See, this is like, I'm rediscovering, wow, that looks so similar. Rediscovering products that I never really paid a lot of attention to. And this is why it's also just important to go through your drawers every now and then. Was that Morphe? Because it makes you, it, yeah, yeah, you rediscover things that you kind of forgot that you even had. What the heck on earth is that color? No, thank you so much. Color Bloom Liquid Blush. I think I tried this Tarte Blush and Glow and I didn't really do a whole lot. So I feel a bit rude going through this and seeing the Tarte stuff. Oh, that's a nice color. And not, oh, that's too orangey. And just being like, eh, no. I do like Tarte, it's just certain stuff. Each brand has stuff that I like and stuff that I don't really click with. That's gonna be too, oh, fake, too much of a fake tan shade. That is one that I love, I think. Sunkissed Pink. Yes, that's a shade that I love. This is Sunkissed Cool. Too dark. Fenty stuff. I don't really use that. Oh my god, my back's so sore. Oh, that's a great colour for fair skin. That's a stunning colour. Oh man, that seems like a waste. That's actually such a great colour. Maybe I need to do like a couple of videos where I try it. Cause I've, but I've also got this shade. This one by She Glam, which is the same kind of. Let me actually, actually try them side by side and i like the she glam one more the formula a lot because uh yeah uh because it's quite liquidy i don't like when they're kind of in the stick form because I, I wouldn't apply it to my face because then it takes off my foundation and then applying it to the brush is kind of the only way but i see how it has kind of like a warm undertone like a yellow like an orangey tone i don't like that the fenty one's probably going to be better on my forehead maybe like more like a sun but then you don't get a tan when you're fit <laughs> i think that's why i don't don't bother wearing it what's this this is a little rare beauty tiny one i'm probably not going to use that the color's not really considering all the beautiful colors i've got now yeah i probably won't reach for it oh actually glam be really good liquid blushes <sighs> oh it's tough it's tough this is something i don't use i don't use cream highlighters. I think because they're placed here, when I take my hair down, I can feel it sticking because they usually like a kind of more of a, you know, creamy formula, especially because they're highlighters. So there's a benefit for it to be kind of like a balmy finish. And I don't really like that as much. So, oh, I did actually like this. Hmm. Good eyelash fillers in there. One's an old sample, one's a newer one. What's this? Charlotte Tilbury Easy highlighter wow it's like brand new yeah unfortunately nose contour and highlight pen oh that's right i wanted just just to try it out and i couldn't get it to work so i don't know how to contour my nose without it looking obvious what's this rare beauty liquid highlighter probably won't use that it's actually a lot easier than i thought it would be cover effects uh, rest in peace rest in peace hmm trunk elephant bronzy drops well i'm not gonna need them now yeah no i'm not gonna need them god this bag's already full i will actually put because i have so few now I can put the bronzing stuff in one drawer. That is a Mecca Max one that's nice. But I think my favorite at the moment is the Nude Sticks Bondi Belle. It's a really cool bronzing shade. Ouch. 
I'm just kind of hard to come across. This is going to be the interesting part is that I've got this whole stack. Well, let's get rid of the shades that I know I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use that. I'm probably not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. What even are those shades? They're really weird shades. I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> I guess you can see which ones I will use. Oh, that color is so satisfying to my eyes. Oh, that posture. Okay, so I'm left with three. That's shocking. I'm going to organize these ones. Am I going to use this? I don't think I am. The color's a bit too orangey. I think I'm going to part ways with that one. Those, I liked that. That one looks nice. I want to try that. These are all the Makeup by Mario blushes. Hmm. How do I organize this? What if I do it like that? So I can see these will push those back so I can see the colors. And then these are just like random little tidbits. Oh, I've got some new ones from Nude Sticks. Oh. Did I just break it? Oh no. Oh no. It's still usable. But the kind of color, it's not really my kind of color anyway. It's too peachy. It's beautiful though. Rose Cheeks Duo. I'm really confused by this formula. Ooh, that's so interesting. What kind of formula is that? Hmm. And this is like a brand new one. This is from their holiday collection. I almost feel better that I've at least shown it on camera. <laughs> I feel guilty about getting things and just giving them away because it's just, I mean, obviously that's just the name of the game. Like not everything, if you send every shade or whatever, you know, you, you're going to know that not everyone's going to like that color, but I just don't want to seem flippant about it, you know. That can go. This one's going to be a bit easier for me because, well, first of all, I've got two of these. So I'll keep the newer one. I shouldn't even keep it though because I don't really use it. That is a bit crusty. Oh, Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. Despite how little I use it, I don't think I can get rid of it. I might actually put some of those parts at the back, which is probably like a graveyard spot. Nah, yeah, if I put them there, I'm not going to ever use them, am I? I like that light shade. But is that... No, that's really... Is that... Does that leave a... Okay, yeah. That's a fake tan highlight palette, I think. Ah, champagne pop. Yeah, bless, but I'm not gonna use it. This is my favorite at the moment. And you can see how light it is. It works for my, again, I keep saying fair skin, but that's just the reality of this video. <laughs> 45 minutes I've been recording for my poor phone. Well then, should I just put these palettes back in then? I don't really have anything else to fill out the drawers with. I may as well put the palettes back. There we go, I'll just do it like that. Oh gosh, these are heavy. Oh, little hourglass mini palettes. What's this one? Universe? Universe Unlocked. Cute. Yeah. Silly, but of course I will keep them. In which case, let's not play favorites. Let's put them all away. What's this? I don't know how to use it. Oh my god, these are probably a thousand years old now. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of those. Like, actually throw those out. They've been there for so long. So those are my backup lounge face products. Oh, I did buy a new clear brow gel. Amazing. Brow builder. Good, good. I don't have an empty box, but I use it sometimes when I'm doing brand stuff. Got two eyelash colors. One's an old sample. <laughs> One lonely mascara. Okay, that was surprisingly fine. Oh, wait, no, I'm finished. Anything on the bottom of this pile probably needs to go. Golden Ivory Bright Fix. I might keep that because I've been loving the Fenty Bright Fixes. One size fair three. I'm just not using concealer anymore. I'm using the Bright Fix one. Same thing with the Tarte ones. That shade is gonna be too dark for me. This milk thing, I don't even know. Sunshine, under eye tint and brighten. I'm not gonna use it because I use the Fenty ones. Okay, well that was not as painful as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if I should be sitting on the ground for this because this is <laughs> even lower than the last one. <sighs> this one's kind of stressing me out. I just wanna take like all of these and just Put them away, you know? I think I might. Look at this little like makeup by Mario bag. I'm probably gonna keep all of the skinny little things in here. So these are all shades that I think I liked. That's why they're in. I had like special little areas. Certain little things are ones that I reach for more often. So I make sure that I keep all the stuff that I like in those ones. How, I do like whiskey. Uh, Roach, what a horrible name. But I'm not gonna use that. I've got two roaches. That's actually a really nice ready shade. Probably not gonna use it. Do I, will I use that? Oh, what's Hustle like? No, I don't like the color of the, on the outside. 
Smog, no. Hustle, another one. That green's nice. Lucky and Demolition. Ooh, Demolition looks nice. I kind of want to try that all over my lid. Can you do that? Can you do that? I'm going to try that. Am I ever going to do that? No. I don't mind keeping some. Look, I never use eye pencils. What's this? Makeup for Aqua Resist Color Pencil. Hourglass, I'll keep that. 24-7 uh, Oil Slick Black with Sparkles. Cute, but not the vibe. Uh, what's this? I have so many waterline pencil. That's good. Obsidian Mechanical Gel Liner from Hourglass. What's this? In zero? I don't even know, honestly. Make a max one, don't need that. 24 7 in mood. That needs to be sharpened. It's like, how many black eye pencils do you need? How are all of these different? As much as I hate this, I'm gonna mix them together with the brown ones. I'm not gonna use the shade, am I? Ever? No. I probably don't use that shade anymore either. Look, makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I don't think I have any other primers, so I might as well just keep it in case. Oh, I tried these for the first time, little zoom liner things. We won't use those. I wonder if they're both dry. Wow. Cap Body Tattoo Liner, Mecca Max Black One, Unopened, Wink Ink Mecca, Urban Decay Ink for Eyes, another Mecca Black One, the Maquillage, Hourglass. Oh, wow. Oh. That's broken. Perversion, waterproof. Wow, that's got a really nice fine nib. Cap on D1, I'm not gonna use. Ink for eyes. Better than sex. Wow, that's really fine nib too. I don't think I'm gonna use either of those. Venti. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Um, I do wanna keep, I do wanna separate the liquids. Liquids from the pencils. Wet look all over gloss for your eyes. I'm not going to use that. Sharpeners, Quick Fix, Makeup Eraser Pen, and then these are Quick Lash Adhesive Liners. I don't wear falsies anymore, but you know what? It's good to have, and I'll move that primer over there too. Uh, I might actually keep that. I've never used it, <laughs> really, but it's a good crease color for fair skin. These are all tart, like chrome things, but I'm not gonna really going to use those these days, I don't think. I haven't used them in ages. Then I've got these hourglass ones, which I probably will use. Now, eyeshadows, not going to use that. I'm gonna put the ones I'm not gonna use in that little thing there. I haven't even opened this. Of course, the one that I haven't opened is the one that's more of a fair skin shade. So I'll keep the ones that I might keep in that left one. I don't use those shades anymore either. That's like a NARS orgasm shade. I haven't even opened that. Ooh. I actually kind of like that. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that. That's a good fair skin, like base shade. Oh, that's a really nice shade. I love that. What's that? It's like a warm, really warm cheek flick. I think I might keep this one over this one because this one's more of an orangey shade. Oh, that's nice. Keep that. Black, keep that. I don't know what shade that is. Oh, I'm not gonna use that. Love. Don't love. Uh, don't love. Yeah. Organize these in order of. I know that's crazy, but I do actually like that shade. In order of likely to use. So I'll do it like that, I think. I should probably unwrap this one. Actually, do I like that shade? Yeah, I'll keep that. All right, I'll put those there. It's very slowly but surely getting over this, so let's see how I can get going for. <sighs> this section here is all, it's actually a really good little section, but it's Fenty Beauty. It's like a refillable lipstick. I actually don't know how it works. I tried to do it and I, I can't get it to work. My voice is seriously breaking part ways with them, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's like they sent, which is just incredible, like so generous of the brand. It's just a shame that they came out at a time when I really wasn't wearing lipstick. I do wear lipstick, but like not the full coverage, opaque stuff. And then speaking of which, these, these are probably so old. I don't know if I should give these to anyone. Because they're like, I don't know how old they are. I might actually, honestly, I might put them in the bin. Oh, so nice. Someone sent me this. 
which is MAC Pure Zen, because I was trying to find a dupe for it. And someone was like, I've got one, I can send it to you. And I was like, okay, amazing. Like I'll pay for the postage. But it arrived and it's obviously way too old and it's gone like completely different color, but I'm probably not even gonna keep this. Like I was gonna say, oh, I should keep it for like nostalgia, Pure Zen, but what I'm gonna do in like a year's time, think, oh, Pure Zen, I'll get rid of that. It was worth a try back in the day. Oh yeah, I've got all these as well. And these are quite old. I know that seems really wasteful to throw them, but oh, and they've all leaked. So because lip products are like kind of my favorite thing at the moment, I'm gonna create little sections. So this is King KW by Charlotte Tilbury. I don't even like wearing it on its own. I, oh, I don't know, I do. I just kind of dab it on and then blend it out. So I might keep it. Rare Beauty, nah, she lamb. I don't think I ended up liking that one. Anything this small <laughs> is so cute, but no. What's that? No, uh, no, that one the bin. What's that? Is that Rare Beauty? No, makeup by Mario. I never end up wearing that. I don't like mattes. I do really like this. I wonder if nude sticks still sell it. It just doesn't last very long on my lips. It's the um, Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm. I think this is another one that's kind of expired and I need to find a replacement for it. But until I find that replacement for it, I'll just leave it there. Okay. Okay, this is where I need to start doing my proper organizing thing. There's probably no point in me having this camera up because the whole time I'm like this. Tarte Man Eater and Natasha Denona Golden Glimmer Gloss. So pretty, but I don't really wear those products. I don't like anything with shimmer. Glaze Phase Lip Oil. Oh my god, that smell. If I ever come out with like a lip oil, that'll be the smell. I can't even explain it. Oh, it's so faint, but it reminds me of like, yeah, lip products in like 2000s or something. I've been wearing them more recently. I'm actually wearing a large face sample now. So I will keep these glosses, but I need a spot for balms because I'm getting sent a few of those. I've got these ones from Makeup by, no, from Nude Sticks and Natasha Denona, which were really nice. Put those there. This section is definitely gonna be the next section that's gonna pile up soon, that I'll be doing another video in like a year's time. They'll be like up to here and I don't have to cull them all, but for now it's under control. So that's what we like to hear. Now all of these Tarte products, I think I need to do a bit of a cull of these. Do not like that. What is that? Lip vinyl. Oh, I didn't like the lip vinyls. They felt too thick. Oh, that's the problem with Tarte lip products. They have nice colors, but they, that, well, some of them at least, not the whole range. I don't know about the whole range. <laughs> Look at this. They smell like coconut. I don't like coconut on my lips. Oh, that's nice. Stain. Oh, I think I tried that when I was streaming on Twitch. I tried this and it like clung to random patches. Okay, so we need some separate things. That one can go there. Okay, so I need one for lip liners. That's just a placeholder for my lip liners, so I don't forget that. Okay, so those are there. Move these tart ones up there. Asian brands. Okay, so these are gonna be like my little stainy products. I don't think all of those even stain. I think they're just, that's what I envision them in my head as being. And I think they probably are closer to a stain than not being a stain. And we need one for these. The makeup by Mario ones. These are close enough to a pencil that they. I need to fill out this this one so that they can, you can you can stay there. I'm just moving things in order of how much I how often I reach for them. That's a sample. And these were gone Teddy tints. I don't know if I'm going to use these. They're not really any of these things. I actually really like these, so they are in that section. No, I'm just going to leave that one free. And we'll see what it gets filled up with. Am I even going to ever wear this? What color is it? Oh, that is a really nice color, actually. Where does that go? Let's put it in here. Oh, that fits so nicely. That's just what it was meant to be. Ooh, this is a really nice Natasha Denona palette, and that looks like really good for fair skin, too. So that can go in the little thing. And this was a light brown eye pencil from Natasha Denona, so that can go in there. I've got, um, this is a nude. Look how beautiful that is. New Natasha Denona palette that I was sent. And that's that beautiful one. Tartlet Juicy. What's this? Okay, I need to start moving on. Okay, let me keep all my Natasha Denona palettes because those are a treat. They're just great. I actually do like that palette from Tarte, so let me keep that one for now. What else have we got back here? Makeup by Mario. I'll keep that because I bought that. 
Uh, I might keep that. I never hear people talking about Too Faced anymore. Tartlet in Bloom. Oh, I have so many good memories about this. Is that a shimmer or a matte? That's a matte. Funny girl. <laughs> oh, I do like that darker colour there. That, that is quite a nice palette, actually. So keep that. Well, how different is it to the in Bloom one? Interesting. Very similar. Let me open both of these up, actually. I've never read. Holy crap, they look so similar. Holy crap. <laughs> Actually, speaking, well, that's f fascinating. This one, I've never looked, I've never compared them both. This one looks cooler and this one looks way more warm. So, after all that, I'll keep this one. Fenty Beauty, nice, but it's not necessary. But yeah, and I've got this Natasha Denona palette. Whoa. I probably never used this in my entire life, but I mean, hey, it's the same vibe with Hourglass. It's like, if you have them, you might as well just hold on to them for a little bit longer. <laughs> Never know what will happen. This is actually a really nice palette. I'll keep that one as well. Tarte Man Eater, that one's quite old. Get rid of that. Oh, we're nearly there. Mecca Max, no. Huda Beauty, oh, it is nice, but no. Medium, nice, but no. Oh my God, am I done? Holy crap. That does look very good though. I'm so glad that's done and I never want to do it again. I just opened the drawer and I've got, I, oh, I've got some palettes that I am going to, while I just had a quick glance, just, I'll show you in this thing. Yeah, I need to get rid of all these ones. This is like a Morphe. I might actually keep that because it actually does come in handy, never, but it will one day, I'm sure. Oh. I need a nude palette, that's so good. Oh, well that's lucky that I opened it up, that other drawer up, because that's my fair skin and that's a, yeah. That's I need a nude and that's I need a warm. That's fair, that's tanned, that's fair. So that can get a VIP upgrade to that drawer, which it won't sit in nicely, which is killing me. Morphe palette, that can go, I'm not even gonna open it. I've got two Jaclyn Hill palettes. I mean, stunningly bright. However, those days are gone. I've got all the colors that I need from that Morphe one. What's this, Urban K Stoned Vibes? I have never used it, don't know if I will ever use it, but just stunning. Can't get rid of that, can we? Move that to the grave. And I've got this Natasha Denona one. Honestly, I don't think I want to use that. And then this one, that's stunning. I want to keep that. I love the greens in there. I'm not going to use them though. <laughs> but it's Natasha Denona. Okay, I actually can't even open that any more than that. So let's just leave it there. And that is, yeah, some more blues and stuff. Well then, do I just keep that one as well then? Yeah. Why not, hey? I'm keeping the other ones. I may as well just keep those. Hoarder vibes. Absolutely hoarder vibes. Yeah. It looks wonderful. I did a great job. I really did a great job. Thank you so much for your company on this fine day. I'll see you next year when I do this. That looks so much nicer. It's so nice seeing the bottom of the trays. That's great. I feel mentally so much better after that. Mentally worse a little bit actually. Tired, but like neat mentally better. That makes no sense. In which case, that's my cue to leave. Goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. In a year or never, we'll see. <laughs>